Hey what's up guys, Dushmaster here, welcome back to the channel. Um, sorry I haven't posted in a few weeks, um, to be honest I've been pretty lazy in the last few weeks so I haven't, uh, yeah normally I try to post a video every week, uh, so yeah I've just been catching up on a lot of videos, um, yeah just finishing a whole bunch of videos I should have uploaded, you know, so I'll be uploading a bunch of those soon. Uh, so yeah, so I figured I'll upload this video, you know, it's just a quick tutorial just to show you guys how to create just how to create some cool blue tones you know whether you're doing a portrait or landscape whatever photo you're doing and yeah you know it won't take long you know just a matter of just adjusting a few things and and yeah hopefully you guys can get something out of this so let's get started so we'll just create our graduated filter just click and drag over our subjects Okay, and we'll just shift this up a bit, just above the hat. Yeah, because what we want to do, we just want to simulate just some fake sun. Well, there is sunlight, but we just want to emphasize that sunlight a bit. So we're just going to give it just a slight fade uh, lighting effect. And that will, I think that will just make the image pop just a little bit. Excellent. All right. So in the graduated filter settings, we're just going to increase the temperature to about about 50, and we'll bring our tint. Increase that to about 20. Uh, for the exposure, we're going to increase that uh, just a little bit, not too much. Lovely. And we'll go down to our blacks. We'll just increase that right, to about 70 and already you can see it's starting to fade which is good uh, the clarity if we uh, reduce the clarity that also helps with the fading it's one thing you want to remember when you're adding fake light you know lowering the clarity increasing the blacks will yeah will help sell that fake sunlight effect um, yeah, so once that's done, hit OK, and we can go to our basic settings, and for our exposure, just increase that a little bit, and our contrast, about plus 20, our highlights, we'll leave the highlights, uh, shadows, we're going to bump those up a bit, about 40. Uh, whites and blacks we can keep because we adjusted the blacks in the graduated filter uh, So for the texture we we'll increase that to plus 20 Just to add a little bit of sharpness and we'll add a little bit of clarity plus 10 not too much and the haze uh, Plus 10 and the vibrance we're going to increase that to plus 50 And we're not going to be adjusting the saturation Lovely now for the curves, um, so if we just click at the bottom here and in the input just punch in 2 and for the output we're going to put 10. And that's all we have to do for the curves. Yeah, it's kind of weird because I used to use the curves quite a lot but ever since I started using the range mask I barely use the curves at all. <laughs> okay so for our HSL uh, we'll just bump up the reds to about plus 20 and the orange hue bring that down minus 10 the yellow hue we're going to bring that down minus 80 lovely for our greens we're going to uh, push those all the way to plus 100 and that's it for the hue and for the saturation uh, bring down the orange to minus 10 lovely increase the green plus 50 increase the aqua and we're going to bring down the blue saturation which seems kind of productive considering the tutorial is about uh, cool blue tones but you'll see what we do afterwards so luminance um, I think all we have to do for this we'll just increase the orange uh, to about plus 10 excellent it's ready it's looking good so for the color grading um, so we're just going to adjust the highlights a bit so for the hue 
uh, punch in 170 and increase the saturation to 40 and that's our color grading done it's looking a bit ick but that's okay uh, so for the sharpening um, well, as you all know in my other tutorials I like to keep my sharpening at plus 40 and hold down alt on the keyboard and just uh, drag the mask to about 80 so I think yeah usually find that's a pretty good setting for the sharpening and for the noise uh, plus 10 we don't have to increase much because our ISO was only 100 so that's pretty good now you're probably thinking oh wow that looks pretty you know pretty yuck looking but this is where the power of the calibration tool comes in so we're just going to increase the red primary saturation to about plus 20 and we'll take our green primary we'll increase that to plus 50 and we're going to leave the saturation for that and for the blue primary we're going to bring that down to minus 80 and increase the saturation to plus 50 and voila that's how we get our cool our cool blue tones <laughs> And there you have it guys, that's our before and after cool blue editing in Lightroom. Uh, yeah, so hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys. Uh, you know, it didn't take long. And, and like I said before, we barely touched the curves at all. Like we just bumped up, we just adjusted the shadows just very slightly. You know, we didn't even need the range mask, you know, and I use the range mask all the time. So, you know, uh, so yeah, you don't have to do much just to you know just to kind of get that effect of the cool blue and the fake sunlight shading shining through um so yeah that concludes the tutorial for today and uh thanks for watching guys hope this has helped you a lot uh, feel free to like uh, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below uh, follow me on social media and i'll see you in the next video cheers